Okay, happy Sunday to everyone who is joining. Uh, if you join, you share extensively. We're sorry that we might not have a very um, good, um, uh, you know, we might be shaky because we are we are moving. So please, once you join, you share extensively. We want everybody on board because that's essentially uh, what's important for us to understand. I want to thank you all for your contributions, for everything you do every time to push the revolution ahead. And I want to give a patriotic salute to all those of you who are watching from far and near. And uh, my sincere uh, thanks and uh, congratulations to all our compatriots who, of course, uh, are out there trying to ensure that they push this revolution to a logical conclusion. Uh, I want to thank you. Happy Sunday. This is a special show because I'll be talking about some ruthless realities in the Amazonian independence movement. Uh, I know my 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 view is not very clear, uh, but uh, that notwithstanding, uh, we must do what we must do. So thank you once more for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there are a lot of things that we will be discussing today, and I urge you once you join, I urge you to share extensively, uh, so that we can have everybody watching this show today, especially all those of you who are watching from Ground Zero. I want to say. Uh, my sincerest uh, thank you for the enormous sacrifices you've done uh, so far. I want to also thank especially uh, Dr. David Makongo, who has been doing a tremendous job in trying to take care of our refugees. Happy Sunday if you're watching from any part of uh, Southern Cameroons. This is a patriotic salute. We have already close to 200 people in just two or three minutes. And so I will start talking once we have 500 people. Uh, you know, Naturally, I, I said today that I was not going to do a live show this Sunday, but uh, something something came to my mind, and I said it was important for me to bring uh, the people from Bazonia, our compatriots, uh, so that we can talk business as usual and talk as one person. So I urge you all, once you join, you share. We'll start this show in the next uh, couple of minutes. Uh, let's say in two, three minutes, we should be, be kicking off... Uh, uh, hugely so that we get everybody on board so once you join you share because that's your responsibility i want to say a big thank you to all those of you who are watching in aquaya uh, i had a very long chat with some of the uh freedom fighters in aquaya and we talk extensively on a whole lot of things and so we we thank you sincerely for your contribution for the motivation and uh, you know for your steadfastness and your decision to, to fight for the independence of our country. And uh, definitely, we, we should understand that uh, uh, with issues like this, we would uh, uh, normally have a lot of challenges because it's usually not easy having uh, people, you know, coming together as a team and trying to fight for the liberation of a country. I think uh, the, the, the situation of Ambazonia is not different. Uh, reason why uh, we have a lot of uh, a lot of people, you know, always trying to contradict some things that are meant to bring victory to the Ambazonian people. As you are all aware, ladies and gentlemen, uh, fervent uh, followers of this page, and of course, uh, patriotic Ambazonians, we, we, cannot, we cannot say the least, but we all know that our commitment in liberating Ambazonia has brought us to be talking as one person, as a people, who are committed to the struggle, to the movement. Uh, reason why, irrespective of our, of our differences, we still find time to promote our movement and to promote the various ideas that we have as a people. So at this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you all sincerely for your collaboration, for your steadfastness, and uh, uh, for the religious manner in which you follow this movement. And we think of you in all our thoughts, in all our memories, and all our actions. And we thank you sincerely for your uh, endless contribution. I want to say hello to all those who are watching me from the UK, uh, to those who are watching from uh, the United States of America. This is a patriotic salute. And uh, if you're following this show from Granzo, especially from around Boya and Bomaka, uh, Bomaka precisely, I want to say a big hello to you. And those of you who are following from Bunduma, I'm also saying a big hello to you. If you're following from uh, uh, Wabane in Le Bialem uh, County, I'm saying a big hello to you. And of course, 
all those of you who are watching from uh, Tinta in Akwaya, uh, you're watching from around Bombay, still in Akwaya, we are greeting all of you because, of course, we know that your commitment in liberating our homeland remains uh, very vital in, uh, in our movement. Uh, reason why a lot of people who do not understand still think at this juncture that uh, Southern Cameroons is, uh, is a joke. But I will be reminding them about some very brutal realities, some things that must happen as a matter of urgency. Uh, a lot of people have still not understood because, you know, like I said in most, I will always say in most of my videos, some people uh, think that the Ambazonian independence movement is uh, the peaceful protest we used to have back in 2016 before the Republic terrorists took guns and invaded our villages and started killing our people. No, that, 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 is not, that is not the situation. A lot of things have changed. And I want to remind those who are following this revolution to understand one thing, that the, the people of Southern Cameroons remain uh, a unique entity. They remain a unique people who are binded. You know, you know they, they have their own unique identity that cannot be challenged by any court in the world. That is why we must say, as a matter of urgency, that our struggle or movement, as I would like to call it, is an aspect of divine installation. It's an aspect of, you know, of straightforward, uh, 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 you know, inclination, where we will not have anybody coming at any point. Uh, we're sorry that we have, um, you know, the, the view is not very good because it's sunny out here. Uh, so a lot of people have still not understood. That is why you have the Mengods and the Tabet Tandus and the rest of these people, you know, come every time thinking that the, the movement is uh, some kind of a child's play or is something that they will continuously bring their fraudulent CPDM activities to, you know, to, to be as a, a, a checklist of the activities of the freedom fighters of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. I want to remind all the elites and let me start this reminder by thanking the people of Balinyonga. Balinyonga is a, it's a town, a war torn town in the, uh, the stretch of road between Bamenda and Ekok. Uh, you must have heard what has happened to the Secretary of State uh, at the Ministry of Justice in charge of penitentiary administration or the prisons. That is um, uh, Do Jerome. Uh, he works with uh, La Republique du Cameroon. Uh, I said that I said in the last video just a day or two before uh, these guys applied the Gary process on his residence. Uh, you know that all these elites who are in Yaoundé, they have to understand that one thing is clear because the people of Southern Cameroons, uh, we know we are moving away from the cocoon of docility. We are no longer at that phase where a lot of people would want to think that this independence movement is a child's play. No, it is not and it will never be a child's play because Southern Cameroons has been liberated. When I say we have been liberated, it's just a matter of installation. You know, we, we already have our independence. Above all, we have had the mental li liberation where we will not longer listen to any elite talk to us as though uh, it's an issue of in those days. Let me say some realities that, please, if you join, you share. There are some things that some people have still not understood. And I will start this in the next 30 seconds, telling them exactly what they should know. And let me say this. Let me say this. When I will analyze some of these things, then a lot of these elites will begin to understand that they, 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 at this point in time, they ought to have come to Ambazonians on bending knees, begging for, begging for apologies because... It is never going to be the same again. Everything has changed and the people of Southern Cameroons understand the dynamics of what they are fighting for. Reason why I am soliciting for the last time some of these elites in Yaoundé to come and surrender to the people's revolution because we have passed the stage where any Tom Dick and Harry in the name of, a, of an elite can assume that because they are in Yaoundé they would obviously have their way. No, Eric Tato is saying that it is not business as usual. For those who don't know, this movement has taken categorical changes 
steps that there is no way any elite can change. Let me uh, do this show by cautioning first and foremost a group of uh, people in Acquire. Before I continue, I want to talk to some people in Acquire. I will have to uh, be very clear about uh, you know there are a lot of villages in Acquire that we we must we must bring these guys uh, to book. A lot of things are going on there that I've spoken with some of the the commanders in Acquire, and uh, we have had reports of a situation where uh, some some of these our fighters are disturbing the villagers. I'm not going. I've just said Acquire, and I want anybody who's from Acquire to send this message to some of these fighters. Who are, who are around Nyang, around uh, some other areas in Akwaya. I'm calling Nyang particularly because it is very imperative for me to make mention of this village. You know, those, all those of you who are fighting around uh, Mokonyong in Akwaya, you have to take special note uh, because a lot of things have been reported to me. So I'm just letting you know that I have spoken with the fighters in Akwaya, the restoration forces, and they have given me their words because we are trying to make a composition of the Manu County Defense Group. Well, we call what we call the uh, the Manu Ghost Warriors. Like we have the BLM, the, the BLM Red Dragon. So, before I come to expatiating about this, I want to concentrate on these ruthless realities. Let all the elite in Yaounde. This is a listen. This is a final warning. You have seen what has happened to Minister Do Jerum. I am giving you my words that when I say that Gary will be applied, Gary must be applied. When I say it's a must, it means that if I told you that there's nothing that it's not coincidence. Before we say something that something will happen to one of these elite, southwest or northwest, people will think that we are joking until it happens before they begin to understand. Now let me be clear about this issue. Let me be very clear. I want this elite to understand what I mean by ruthless realities in the Ambazonian independence movement. I want to start with the geos. It's rather unfortunate. Let me let me get. Um, it's rather unfortunate that some of these elites still think that this movement is a joke. I want to start with the geo. All the geos in Ambazonia. Think about this. Before this movement. Before 2016, before the crisis got to this level, please, if you join, you share extensively. Let's bring everybody on board. Before the crisis got to this level, all the geos were being respected. Nobody could talk to a geo. Nobody could dare to stand wherever where a geo is standing. Nobody could ever do that. And of course, today the story is different. These are the realities that all the Jews and the elite of Ambazonia must take. That everything has a stage. And this revolution has changed the face. It has changed its face. Whether or not you like it, I want to be very clear with you that the people of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia must have independence. This is a reality that nobody can stop. And I laugh. I laugh again. Each time I see the elites go to Stemboya in Bamenda and they begin to talk as though they own Ambazonia. No! It is never going to happen because the revolution is in a stage of completeness. It's in a stage of completeness where the people of Southern Cameroon are saying no and never again. And let me be clear because I wouldn't repeat myself again. There are strict instructions that all the elites who are in Yaoundé should be visited in their homes by Gary. He, whether or not you stay in Ambazonia, we will go to your home and give a bit of Gary. And we want to say this. If a Kema Patrick thinks that he can institute the aspect of targeting the families of activists, like I have read somewhere, the reason why they cannot call my name and my family is because they know that when they bring an idea, I'm going to destroy them. And I want to tell Ekema that since you are talking about families of activists, 
we will also talk about families of traitors like you your family the families of men god so if you are relative to all of these people we we want you to know one thing that these are things that we did not say and the people in the regime of the republic to come around oh mr bia are saying that we should start talking about family members of those who are on opposite camps aka my patrick if you talk about the family members of dr makongo david makongo you don't have the monopoly to talk about somebody's family members you don't have the monopoly we also know your family so it should not be like listen i have said this thing if you would take that we carry anybody who is against this movement and his entire family there is no problem so people talk about families as if they don't they did they, they fall from the trees don't they have families and when they talk about families some of you begin to panic it's because some activists have put themselves in a position where any Tom, Dick and Harry can just call their names and start threatening their families. You cannot do that to me. You cannot do that to me because if a Kema dies, if he dies, he knows what I will do. Nobody will go to Boya Council. I can place an embargo today that we don't want to see anybody. In fact, let me start this today. Just as an extension, we are shutting down Boya Council. If you are a worker, if you work in Boya Council from today, henceforth you have you have no more office to go to because we are going to station boys there you can bring the whole military of the republic to come around to stand at boya council but we are saying that boya council ceases to exist because it ceases to exist because the mayor of that of that council is using the council properties and monies to bring weapons from the republic to come around to kill our young boys. In fact, Mayor Kema is the head boy, the brain child behind the killing of the those eight, nine, 10, 14 youth in Boya. And so, because of that, we are of the opinion, in fact, we are we are convinced that the mayor of Boya, Ekema Patrick, has weapons stationed in Boya Council. So, one of our major targets now, as revolutionaries, one of our major targets is the Boya Council. So, we want to extend a peace plan to all the workers of Boya Council to cease from going to Boya Council. If you work with the Boya Council in any of its branches, the market or anywhere, stop going to the office. If you go to that council, we will arrest you and we'll make sure we give a bit of gallery to you. And I want to tell all the workers of Boya Council that if you are working in that council, you are an enemy to Southern Cameroons. And if you are working, I'm sending this message to a Kema. Let him know that the council in Boya is keeping weapons of mass destruction. I want the international community to know that that particular mayor is a liaison between powers in Yaoundé and the massacre in Southern Cameroon. So, we are shutting down Boya Council as a matter of urgency because we have intelligence that that council is keeping weapons. And so, it came out, Patrick, we want you to know that the council will cease to exist because we are going to guarantee that council. Any worker, all those number of workers, with Boya Council, you have to stop now. If you go to the council, we'll go to your house and take your family. Because a Kema is talking about families. I want to tell him that some of us, like me, I'm smoke. I'm smoke. It can take the Republic 10 billion years to trace a member of my family. Whether you come the whole of Southern Cameroon, you will not see my family. But they are there and they will not move. Because that is my land. And let me be clear that if you, as a Boya Council worker, if you go to that council from tomorrow Monday, any time that you go there, you want to come to the house, we'll take your child, we'll take your sister, we'll take your wife, we'll take your brother. So now, if they want to extend this thing to families, we have to shut it down. The one way to shut that council down is to stop the workers. Hey, Kema, I'm doing this video for you. 
If the other activists are afraid because they have called their families, it's because they don't know what they are doing. Let me tell you something. The only person that you can kill in my family to stop this movement is me, Eric Tato. So long as I live, no matter what you do, if you, if you, I don't listen, let me say this, let me say this very clearly. If you, you read, you do whatever you want to do. You, I, if, if, if you, if you cut my hands, every part of my body, so long as I breathe, I will still put this phone like this and do a live video. Let me be very clear to you, ladies and gentlemen. This message is a clear message that a Kema is one of those people who is supporting genocide. And the government is using the Kema and the Boya Council to store weapons of mass destruction. So we have as a primary assignment to destroy that council. That council must be destroyed. Because that council, listen, I don't know why we are wasting our time. If you are a worker, this is an interdict, what we call embargo. This is, listen, don't joke about this thing I'm saying. If you work in Boya Council, if you know that you have six heads, go to work, let me see. Go to work, let me see. If you go to work, your children will call you in the house. We know all of you. I have your names. Let me tell you something. If you work in that council and you go to work again in that council, we'll teach you a lesson. We'll teach you a lesson. Yes, we'll teach you a lesson. Let me say this. It's clear. It is war against the council because the council is chief promoter of genocide. So, if you are a worker in that council, like we have said about Sonera, if you go to that council, we'll teach a Kema Patrick that he has no monopoly talking about people's families. So, if you know that you want to be on the safe side, do not go to that council. Do not go to that council. Because if you go there, we are going to ensure that you are guaranteed. We go there, we'll teach you a very bitter lesson. And let it be clear, of course, the, the council has weapons. And the only thing we'll do with count, councils that keep weapons to kill our people is to ensure that we bring it down. That one is a human right. It's something that we must do. And let's say this very clearly. For those who don't know, for those who don't know, you 0369. For those who don't know, let it be very clear. Put in your head, put in your head that if you walk in that council, I'm repeating this thing over and over and over and over again because 03369, because a Kema Patrick has gone to the place where nobody is supposed to go. And I want to be clear about this that from today henceforth, Boya Council becomes the first enemy of Ambazonia. So if you are if you are if you are working in that council, you are automatically an enemy. And anybody who is your descendant is an enemy. This is how we want to go. We want people like I have won everybody in Manu. If you live in Tabetando's house, live. If you stay with Mengo, live. If you stay with Neto Anja, you live. I'm saying it again. I've sent messages. If you live all with these people, live because when we come, they were not going to listen. An enemy is an enemy. This is war. And I'm saying this because I say without fear or favor. This is war and we are not going to joke about it. So, all restoration forces, the Fakon mountain lions, I, I have spoken with them and they know what to do. So, if you are a worker in Boya, if, listen, if you go to work, if you go to work, when they get you, yeah, they will give Gary full flesh Gary on your two hands. Full flesh Gary. Now, let me say this. A lot of people don't know what's going on. It, it might be because they think, as a matter of fact, under the tree, yeah. They think, as a matter of fact, people, people will sit and watch them, you know, do their things just anyhow. But that time has passed. That time has passed because we will no longer entertain people who think that uh, exit. Just a minute, we're trying to fix a couple of things here. People will no longer entertain people who think that this revolution is for their personal gains. That is why I have, I'm saying this, and I want it to be very clear. Today I'm on Boya Council, because Ekema is making a lot of noise, because this, this council is still functioning. If we, if we shut down this council, if we shut down this council, yes, let's back on the street. If we shut down this council, you will see that 
All this noise that Ekema is making is going to stop. The only reason why Ekema is talking too much is because we 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 are still we are still we are still we are still loving with him. But once Ekema is in a position where you reverse a bit behind you. Let's get a good view. Just a bit. A bit. Yes, I think it's good. So the only reason why Ekema is still making noise is because the people of Ambazonia are just watching and they leave the council to function. Now, for us to disturb a Kema, and for him, we don't even need a Kema. I tell you, brother, there are strategies that one would do. You see, everybody will be shaking. Now, we, it, it's a war against the Boya Council first. We have to shut down that council. We have to shut it down completely. And we can do it as a people. And the restoration forces are aware of what to do. So, if you work with Boya, if you work with Boya Council, if you know that you are a man, go to work. Go to work. You go, listen, there is, no, there is no arrest and release with Boya Council workers. Once we get you, once we get you, we will not release you. I want to say this very clearly. I say, my name is Eric Tato. Put me anywhere. When we get you, we will not release you. Now, I think I've said enough about Boya. Let me go to another point. Another reality, I was talking about the Jews. All the elites, before, you cannot talk to a Jew. Before, when the Jew is coming, everybody is prepared. Before, if a Jew is, you hear about a Jew, you start panicking. But today, we can arrest Jews. Jews have been arrested. That is to tell you one thing. is to tell you that the people of Ambazonia have been liberated. The people are out of their minds. They are out there to catch their freedom. And there is nobody who is going to stop them. So, if you are an elite in Yaoundé, think about the fact that from days ago, they could not touch Jews. But today we are arresting Jews. Look about magistrates. This is an important thing I want to talk about. State councils have been arrested. However, may I say that our people in southern Cameroon must stay out of the, of the rings of magistrates. Magistrates are part of the movement. Do not arrest any Anglophone magistrate. But any Francophone magistrate that you see, you have the express permission, according to the bylaws of this revolution, to arrest that Francophone magistrate and immediately give the person Gary on the one hand. That is what is going to happen. I want to say this very clearly. And I'm not missing my words that this movement has reached a stage wherein we have to fight till the end. We have to fight till the end. No. Let me go back to that Kema issue. We will not leave the workers alone. The workers are part of a Kema. They are the people who arrange the, 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 the dubious march. So we will go for a Kema, go for his children, go for his wife. Go for his family members. Go for the workers. A Kema has to understand. He, sh he should get all the La Republic soldiers to guide his entire family and workers. Because if they don't have that protection, we are going to teach them that we rule Ambazonia. That is a fact. That is a fact. Quote me anywhere. My name is Eric Tato. Now, with that said, another harsh reality is the fact that over 300 or more villages have been burned down. Over 7,000 Ambazonians have been killed. Innocent civilians, I must say, they have been killed. And they continue to kill more. But ask yourself, why is it that the people are not giving up? Why is it that the government is deriving many different dubious means to demoralize the people? Let me tell you something. One thing is clear. The people have been liberated. There's been a mental emancipation. The people have liberated themselves mentally. And there is no way anymore that the Republic of Cameroon can hold us. I put my face out here. And I, I, I don't get scared at any time. I move around. I drink with my friends who are Cameroonians. I drink with my friends who are, who are Cam Southern Cameroonians. I want to say Southern Cameroonians. I drink with them. I move around. And I do things as a free man. That is because the revolution in me is bigger than the enemy. 
There is nothing. There is nothing that the public can do. There is nobody who can kill me. Because, I, like I have said, I have said many, to many people that I will die in Boya. There is nobody who can kill me in America or elsewhere. I will die in Southern Cameroon because I have to free that land. Reason why I've told a lot of people that do not be scared. Forget about whosoever who threatens you because this revolution is bigger than all these thieves from La Republic. I feel sorry for them because I do not know where they will put their faces the next we have independence. I don't know where they will go to because it is never going to be the same again. Like we have said, the revolution has taken a completely different face. And whether or not we like it, the movement is a movement to free the people. Do not be scared about me. I pray for myself. My wife does. Pray for yourself the more. Take care of yourselves. Because if you don't take care of yourselves, you will not go to Boya. But I'm sure I'm going to Boya. So I urge you to pray for yourself more. You need the prayers more. Because I'm already protected. The issue is that you have to stand at a vantage position to tell the people of Southern Cameroon your commitment, your conviction. Because this movement is above the Republic of Cameroon. That is why even after destroying 300 and more villages, killing 7,000 people, they are unable or able to stop the revolution. And let me say this. Let me say this. It is a clear thing that no matter what the enemy does, they are never going to succeed. Let me give you a strong point how powerful this revolution has been. That is why you see all the fake profiles from the Republic to Cameroon. They keep coming to this page. They are never blocked. They keep writing things, insulting us. They are never blocked. But what do we do? We keep giving them nightmares because that is their portion. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ambazonians, let me now talk on these very important things. Please, when you join, you share extensively. Let's bring everybody on board. I want to end this video because I want to be brief. I want to end this video, uh, uh, you know, talking about this unity stuff and the essence of the unity and the, the, the reason why we must, we must adopt the country by county strategy. No, we will not block nobody. We need all of them to be here so that they take the message or messages to their masters. You know, let them take him out that we are coming for him. Now, with that said, with that said, let me be very clear. You know, this movement uh, is not for a few individuals. It's not for people who call themselves leaders, but they have refused to understand that they have to put Ambazonia above their personal aggrandizement. Now, let me be clear on this. Uh, two days ago, when I posted something about the ADF uh, writing that uh, the account, these are county commanders. Uh, some people of the ADF, they wrote that uh, these were some special squad from the ADF that just finished a, a special training. Others say that, one other guy said that it was uh, county commanders. Now, why the IG is there doing this, ADF is doing this, Sokadev is doing that. Let me tell the Pope Ambazonia one thing. Because that is my rule. See, if you don't know one thing, I want to tell all these leaders that after elections, because elections, they are doing nothing to prevent elections. Even the $50,000 that we donated, that I raised, that I put my money there. You, do you know what happened? Dr. Akwanga sat in South Africa and then he called that they should share the money and send his own, his own share. I want to ask them that is a money for Ambazonia not cake that they share. Before these leaders went to the unitary conference, they agreed that the money that will be raised there, that money will be used to buy gadgets. Gadgets, they didn't say they will give cash to give to the various commanders, irrespective of which group. But after they raised money, the leaders brought up their problems oh, that they must share the money. I, I, I'm hearing that till today we have not had the money. We don't know where the money is. I feel bad because of what I did, my, my, my initiative. But I feel at the same time very happy because I was saving the Pope Ambazonia with my one hand. Now, how do we stop this? Some people call me that, oh, 
if we 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 adopt county by county, money uh, money will do this. Money will not go. I say yes. That is the exact reason why we must adopt county by county. And I'm happy that 90 percent. Let me say this on Facebook. I am a self-defense journalist, and I want to say that if you put the forces on the ground that I control, acquire Upper Bayang Manu as Manu as a whole, and part of Fako and other places, people that I give instructions to, and as fighters of liberation, none of these leaders have those number of people. It's just because we stay quiet. And I want these people to understand one thing. Let them know it very clearly that the people of Ambazonia will not rely on these leaders to give them independence. Because now, there is a unitary account that we are talking about. Dr. Kwanga was in South Africa on radio. You followed him. He said that he has come to take a check. Where is the check going to? Are we talking about a unitary account only for one group to raise money and other groups come to divide? Or a unitary account, Dr. Komweta uh, Kwanga is raising money in South Africa. When he came to DC, I had intelligence, I had intelligence that he also raised money. Why do they raise money and take it differently and they, are, they want to do things as different people? Why our people are they suffering and dying? Everybody wants to be recognized. People don't understand the meaning of unity. I want to say this until we forget about these leaders and then we put ourselves as a team, as a people fighting for our county. We will never get this independence. But we'll get this independence as one as we come as a group. I want to thank the Pope Kupe Maninguba. Yesterday and today, I've been receiving calls from Kupe Maninguba people. And the people of Kupe Maninguba told me in earnest confidence that by the 15th of September, they are going to put their governor out there for whichever group wants to adopt. And the Pope Kupe Maninguba, as I hear, they, have, they are looking at their governor already and they are also looking at who will be the chief military strategist. The people of Manu are also looking at that. The people of Momo have already told me about who they are looking at. And the BLM is already functioning. So all other counties, the people of Fako, they say they are looking at Dr. Makongo. All, all the other counties must take this idea because, let me tell you something. I don't need to have been here from time in memoria to say that I can participate very positively and actively in the liberation of my people. No, I don't need to be here for long. I don't also need to be 2,200 20, years old. Oh, I don't need to be uh, uh, as old as at my age. I think that God has bestowed upon me the wisdom to push these people through. And I want to say that a time will come, let me announce it, that a time will come when I will stand and announce myself as the leader of Amazonia. Because some of these leaders, and I'll give power to the counties, I'll be as a, as a tiger paper, a paper tiger, talking to the people to bring their governors and let's meet, get meetings. I've also advised people that if you want to get a governor, make sure that the governor is somebody with all legal documents without any traveling restrictions. Because governors will have to move him from one place to another. Let me say this very clearly. All these leaders who are turning like this, going left, going right, we will not solely need them when we get to Boya. It should be clear. And I want to thank the restoration forces because they listen to me. And they know that I speak the truth. And only the truth I shall speak till I die. And let me say this once more, that the people of Aquaya, I want to thank you people. I'll tell you I'm thanking the people of Aquaya. On about five days ago, there was a battle around Bijan and Berere where 15 La Republic terrorists were sent down. They were sent to hell. And I've stayed quiet. I'm still putting that story together. Let me be very clear that if all these leaders if they think that this movement is about them, you have seen very clearly that the ADF has decided to continuously bring division. When they said that people should cooperate in particular areas, they came to Washington and they named those areas. First of all, Dr. Sacco, when as interim president, he declared a cultural event without consulting the other leaders. That is what is killing our people. And somebody from the interim government told me, I said, no, with due respect, I respect the president. But Donald Trump does something wrong in America, a journalist has to say it. Dr. Sarko was wrong to have said that there will be a cultural jamboree and the other activists or leaders are finding that out on the internet. It should not be like that. If you want to bring an idea, call the leaders. Say, this is Dr. Sarko of the internal government. Kometa Kwanga, Komet Ayaba. 
This is what we think. Let's announce this. You can go ahead and announce it after the other leaders have baptized it. Not that they have talked unity. I know they will say, oh, the government is the government. Uh, you know, the government is different from groups. But when there's a coalition, there's a coalition in any country, there can, be, there can be people coming together, a collaboration between political parties to form a government. And you must concert with the other main oppositions inside that government in able to have a decision that will push through. It doesn't mean that because you are interim government, you just sit and just take a decision and you think that those people will not oppose. No, people will oppose. And at this time of the revolution, we don't need opposition. We need everybody to, we need people to bring ideas on the table that are generally acceptable, at least by 90%, like all of you are accepting county by county. So I want to say that the IT was wrong in that case to have called for an event without letting the other leaders know. Today, Comrade Akwanga is in South Africa. Ayaba is in South Africa. They are left, they are right. Anybody that are doing their own things and going, they are only fighting for recognition. You have the other guy, the court Tepan, who has become so confused, who is so, 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 so foolish and does not think that this movement will have to succeed if he doesn't have a title. He's announcing things that do not happen. I read a post that somebody sent to me Tapang saying that uh, I, Komo Ayaba will meet somebody in Eastern Europe or where and it will not be announced. Who cares about uh, those things? Those are things that we don't want to hear. If you don't want to announce something, if it's a secret, don't even bring the thing on social media. It's the same Tapang who said some time ago that Barista Bala will meet Donald Trump. Have you ever seen Barista Bala and Donald Trump? Have you seen them? The thing that I have all these things as archives. I don't forget these things. So when we have people who are brutally, who are brutal liars, who are, who are, you know, who, are, who, are, who are very gigantic liars. They want to destroy our revolution. You proceed, you don't talk. Me, as Eric Tato, I've said this, that so long, I am a bully of lies. I'm a bully to liars. Anybody who speaks the truth will take me for what I am. But if you speak, if you speak lies, you will know you call me a bully. And I want to say this, that so long as I live, county by county must hold. Because that is the opinion of the people. Ten people cannot stop us from having county by county. I've told, listen, I've told all those activists in that activism group, Dr. Makongo Obemi Winners, I told Mark, I told the Akosu, I told all of them that the people of Ambazonia are the people who contribute their money. They don't need your opinion to do what they want to do. The people, you simply have to work according to the, the maxims of the people. You are not supposed, you are not supposed to think that because you are a frontline activist, you have to come and turn people's head. No, that is why God brought me. Well, I was not aware. It's true. It's true. They call me Johnny Just Come. They call me Johnny Just Come because they are shocked that I came and took central stage in this revolution in just a few months. And the game has changed because there must be one person that must be opposed to lies telling. And I've come to. I'm not an angel. I must have done some bad things, wrong things in the past. But this is a matter of people's blood. And we will not continuously have people thinking that. Let me tell you something. The crazy propaganda that the ADF does. You see, go to Comrade Akwanga's war. The same 12 or 14 boys that were during his birthday, they were spraying bullets on the air with General Ivo. They are the same boys who went and took the picture showing those ADF people that this other General Ward came and said that they, they were people from the special squad. It has, listen, it, it, if you look at ADF, Sokadev, and the rest, you see that there are people, they don't have more than more than 50 reliable fighters. They only make noise because they use Facebook. The only group that, listen, let the ADF and Sokadev challenge me. Let them bring me, let them rally all their fighters and do a video of 1,000 people, counting like this, one after the other, and then put it there, we'll start respecting them. The only group that I respect is Red Dragon. Any other group is simply a group meant by people to make their money. People are enriching themselves, taking care of their families, doing their things on this revolution, and somebody like me, I'm removing my own money from my pocket, putting the revolution, putting my life at stake, stop that, I forgot my job to go and do things, but people take money. How can I contribute money? As a central activist, I contributed my money, I raised up to $10,000 and give, and people are fighting on top of the money. How do you expect me to feel? The only way we can do is to kick out this group of selfish people. Let me say something. Let me say something. If these people have not known this ruthless reality, Vox Populi, Vox Day. Mr. Bia has not succeeded up to now because he's fighting the people. And no leader in this revolution can fight the people. Once we adopt our county, what I, listen, let me be very clear with some of these illiterates who come in when they're talking about country, you carry a fake profile, you can't talk about block by block. Block by block is redundant. It has proven to be greatly ineffective. That is why, even go to your, one of your guys' wall, go to my wall, you'll see the screenshot. He could not call it 
county commanders. He could not call it block block commanders. He called it county commanders because how many people will be in how many blocks are in one county? There are too many blocks, and that's what has caused theft and kidnapping and all of those. Look at what uh, uh, Suleiman said. Just uh, Apostle Suleiman just said it. What I have been saying a long time ago. I'm not a prophet. That some of these people kidnap our people. They are not. They are not Amazonians. Not even La Republic. They are criminals from blocks. They are coming block by block, and then you come here. You when you want to talk. You 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 mean to carry a fake profile because you have the, the of course I'm the pillar of liberty that's why you can come here and you make noise anyhow the other people that you call this and that don't they block you on their shows when you make noise I'm the only person that you go and take my pictures you tag left guy I still leave you every day you're on my show small criminals when they want to talk you carry fake profile you come and you start disturbing nonsense look at you people criminals with that said let's be very clear on this okay with the one they want us to, to challenge them. If you know, if you want block by block, you write block by block. If you want county by county, tap county by county. We have almost a thousand people watching. So let's see which one you pull one. Old Chamber, Nelson, Old Chamber, Los Angeles. Do you want county by county or block by block? Let's begin to count. So that all these people will block by block, they'll be so shocked about how many people want county by county. There is nobody who is honest, who is truthful, who is sincere uh, to, 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 to the people who say that they should go block by block. Block by block has failed. I want to say this very clearly. All these uh, blessures, uh, taps, or what they call their names, those are the same fake profiles. One and the same people changing profiles. How can you be a ghost? A very bad ghost, a useless ghost, even on Facebook. Right? You become a ghost so much so that I don't even have guns. I only use only my mouth to talk. The Republic is afraid of me. AK is afraid of me. Franklin Juma is afraid of me. You too, as a ghost, you are also afraid of me. Listen, if you know you are a person, show your face so that we can face each other one by one. With these sellers and gentlemen, the only way we can survive is going county by county like everybody is typing here. And this county by county is not a thing that we have to beg any leader to implement because we are the people contributing the money. Take for example, if I raise my $10,000 like I did and I take it to my county, those leaders will not be fighting over that money because up to today, they are not able they are not able to bring us a unity bank account because Akwanga wants the money to be divided and his own part should be sent. What do you want to do with our money? Buy cement for your project in Cameroon or buy guns for the people who are fighting on Ganzero. If you want that, they should buy things as a group. There must be a procurement committee where people will go and buy the things and then you put visa before they give out there. Not that a group of people want that money should be divided. We have passed the stage where people think that they can make us fail in this revolution. And let it be clear, all those leaders, everybody people are going to adopt their county by county approach and i've said that more, more people give me your governor Kupe Maninguba, give me your governors i will move from place to place with them and raise funds for those county we can decide that today this is the blm uh, 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 Maninguba that governor ambazonians i come as an activist after vetting i say now Kupe Maninguba has proven to be largely uh, effective and honest this is your governor, this is your account. All Ambazonians support this new governor with one dollar. Kupe Maninguba would have already had eight million dollars. Eight million dollars in one week. Le BLM will do the same. We do the same for Momo. People have money. Momo people have told me that oh, they are cutting from Bali, go down and stop. Excellent job. Because until people, until people understand the dynamics of this revolution, we will not succeed. Everybody, some of these very selfish leaders. The only thing that let me say this listen one of one of the leaders one of the leaders celebrated the birthday yesterday somewhere and they did not invite me because they think that when i come there i'm going to talk a leader has the right to celebrate a birthday if i'm in the u.s as a press man you people could invite me to uh, uh, uh the, the press club or whatever then you have a birthday i don't know if you forgot or you do i did not invite every character because you listen all of them know that i don't take side i don't support nobody so whether or not we like it Fellow Ambazonians, you are the people who are contributing the money, and nobody, nobody is, nobody can stop you from dictating the tone of the the the, 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 the path of this revolution. Forget about all these small thieves who only want to give themselves titles. Me, I'm publisher, editor in chief of National Telegraph. Self-made. I'm a self. Listen, I'm a self-made man. I'm a self-made man, and that is why I've said that all of these activists, I've not forgotten the list that we have put out there. They will have to contribute. All the leaders will have to contribute. We have to see them contributing money. I don't talk, sir. Me, they come for interim government, come for ADF, come in, I need a year for no person. As I don't stand with my mind, saying a county by county, if the government allow me, they adopt them. 
and no say at a year say the government work on or something i don't know what they're working on but it's taking too long and i told a member of the interim government today i like to say my things clearly that if this election should hold in ambazonia the government will become redundant we will no longer need any government people will just have to it's the truth let them put it in their mind because when they have these other small groups jacking them left and right, they fail to take things. You call, you see, oh, they have to go through the restoration council. They have to do this. We don't need all this big old crazy and protocol in the revolution. We don't need all of this. So people should know that this revolution has to be, we have to get victory as fast as possible. It's not about people only thinking about themselves. And once we implement county by county, you see that all these thieves, all these Facebook morons, all these Facebook ghosts and imbeciles who have refused to see the reality they will disappear. They are making noise, two of them. You have three people with 20 fake profiles. They come and make noise. We have already forgotten about them. But we have to keep hitting. Tell them should know that they are moons. They are imbeciles. That's why they can only use, use fake profiles. People use fake. That's why I say they are angelic and demonic uh, fake profiles. People use fake profiles to do correct things to support the revolution. They are only use fake profiles to come and attack Eric Tato. If you are a man, why don't you use your face? Why don't you use your face and let me deal with you? Let me deal with you. So that when I'm putting $1,000, $2,000, $5,000 down, you two you put your own, let me see. So that you begin to talk shit. What can you imagine? So we, we are clear on this. And I wanted to end this point by making all of these leaders know that we don't have time. We don't have time because people, listen. Why you listen to me? Go back. Meme, Fako, Kupe, Maninguba, Gokitunja, Menchum. All these counties. Do not think about groups. I have also proposed that each county should have the name of the defense group named after their country. Their county. For example, you can have Momo Black Spider. You can have Ngokitunja Red Rebels. Uh, Manu Red uh, whatever. The BLM Red Dragons. Fako Mountain Lions. We should not go in Fako and we have Fako Mountain Lions. We have Victoria Sharks. Those things are disturbing. Those things are disturbing. Of course, they will disappear. Once county by county takes effect, they will disappear. They will no longer exist because, see, I want to assure you, once we are going to have people bring their governors, all these people will disappear. Because if you say that you are fighting, you are this, you are which county? You have to know your county. One general per county. So 13 counties will have 13 generals. It's not that thing that a group, a block of people come and say that county commander. That man should be very dishonest. I don't know how they call his name. He's a criminal. Because how can you take a picture of 12 or 14 friends and you say they are county commanders? Who was representing Manu? Who was representing the BLM? If you, call, if you decide to be a county commander, you must show your face. If you both show faces only on some roads that you block, four people go and block roads, they show their faces. Why are you afraid to show your face if you are a county commander? Listen, we don't have time anymore for this propaganda. We have passed all this. And let me tell them clean and clear that as I, as Eric Tato, I'm taking charge of this revolution. I'm taking charge because you people know that I speak the truth. And you have to reward me by believing the things I tell you. Any other thing that you hear that is not something that favors you as a people, reject it. A government is supposed to be for the people, not for their pockets. So any group or person, I told one of, I told one of these uh, AGC people, one lady, she does a live video. She wrote me, I'm sure she's watching me, I'll not call her name. She wrote me uh, saying that, uh, um, you know, you always talk about AGC. I say, I say, shut up your mouth. I tell, I tell, I tell to her, I say, let me tell you something. You are talking nonsense because naturally I don't have time to discuss about a group. I have time. See, I don't care about what you think about what I say about a group. I only care about what you think about what I say about Ambazonia. If it's Ambazonia, I will start analyzing. Oh, did I say something wrong? Once it's a group, a group has no use to me. If you don't want to consider Ambazonia before that group, you don't have no use as well. So some of you have been so brainwashed. You are into IG, ADF, Sokadev. All these people are just groups that will disappear with time. So it is not IG, Sokadev, or ADF, or whatever. It is Ambazonia first. So until we have that mentality, there is no way. There is no way we are ever going to succeed. But we are succeeding big time because all those of you representing your various counties, you know the truth, and that's what we are going to we are going to we are going to move so i want to urge you once more do not give your one cover your one dollar to any group do not give your one dollar to i'm saying it my name is eric tato if you like all this whether it's ig so can they, any person one back to me back to me not give your one cover for any group until listen let me say this 
The IG not be necessarily to people. But IG, if you hold, if you hold president for misappropriation, why? Because he they, they give money for all the general gym food and, uh, and so forth. And the way they take the money chop, they need to follow up. And then today they don't turn the country to IG. Now for the IG, you get problem because you disburse money that you don't follow up. So for us to be able to control our money, the counties must have their governors representing them in the whether in the unity platform or in the government. They must have their chief military strategies and they must have their paid master generals. Those who will sign money, their money to relieve from their account to the procurement officer that's going to buy things. And then somebody goes and supervises. Nobody, you should not be somebody taking money, going and buying, going and giving. No, no way. Because one man take money, go buy, go give, go do this. Obviously, motif. But once we we'll get a chain of command, me they even put activism for look for supervised procurement for the various district. When you do them, you send picture of me, Eric Tato. Tell me, say the Guinea general, I follow up. I know it's okay. Don't you? Because, see, that's why I say I don't want no post for no county, for no group. Because when you do something, I can talk. When you tell me put that for your IG or for your ADF or for your something, you expect say man to talk through all the time. I know if you talk, man, you talk fair all the time. But I know if you talk, me, I will get problem. So I there for the natural position, natural neutral position where God will give me. So whether or not they like it, we will not care about any group. Any group, listen, I want to talk again. Put like General Yinfu or he calls it a Yinfu, native man. Native man. Because now only man will not get hurt for the revolution will write very destructively after a commotion of organ. You know if you do that one, you've got to get some level of reserve reservation. Because see, every day he's writing, oh, this is have killed this. When you were there, they were killing more. And you have gone, I'm even suspecting that you are the one who is selling those camps out. Because the red way come out, they start kicking amber boys them, and they suspect you. So you know, we don't want to talk about these people then because the people they feel say, you know, they be some kind me Eric Tato. I see, my talk one thing. I have it talk today, tomorrow. I need better no man because of them. For the America, they no money pay my bills. No money employ me. Now make me and my employer not be Cameroonian. No be selling Cameroonian. Even as I'm Cameroonian, no be selling anyhow. So no money employ me. And no man, I'm not money in my pocket, give IG or give group. No IG need give me money, not be the other way around. So I need to talk about nothing. Because whether the money stop for go for IG or not, it need affect me for no way. It will only affect me if the money not go for Ambazonia for the use where the money get for go for. So no, see, my talk this thing very clearly. You see, see, listen, listen. All these leaders, let them take it from me. Let them take it from me as a matter of fact. That after after elections, if nothing is done, they will become redundant. And some of us will come naturally to take over this revolution. Let it be clear. We will come naturally to take over this revolution and say, form your defense forces, your counties, report to some of us, and then we'll coordinate it from there. That will be the end of it. I'm saying I need to threaten that the tenant will do because some of these leaders they say with see. I told somebody, and I'll say tell the people that. If you like, I want to start putting videos out there. I have a defense group bigger than the Red Dragon. Yes, but I don't want to say it. Bigger than the Red Dragons. Listen, let me let me let me say this very clearly. Some of the leaders, of course, my sister, you are right. They are very arrogant because they don't think about the people. They think only about themselves, and they think that the people are supposed to depend on them for them to have victory. No, they are supposed to depend on the people from Barola to have victory. So they are trying to they are trying to reverse the 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 the, 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 the situation. It's not, it's not supposed to be so. It's not supposed to be so. The leaders are supposed to depend on us for Ambazonia to have victory. We don't depend on them to have victory. No. That's what they have not known. So until they understand that fact. On, because see, let me tell you something. I went to DC. I was picking papers on the field. Doing it from my heart. Not as a pretext or to show that I'm kind. No. Everybody who knows me anywhere I go to, that's what I do naturally. I, I, if I reach there, I've met a lot of people in the, in, the, in the supermarket. I help them do things. I buy stuff for them. Not because they don't have, because I have to appreciate them. I don't. I have to stop you not to give me something because I don't want tomorrow you say, oh, you met every tattoo, you get every tattoo or something. No, I have to stop you. I don't want nobody to give me anything because it should not be that you're giving me because of this revolution. No, you give me because of a particular something, not because I'm fighting for this thing because I am supposed to fight naturally. It's a job that I'm supposed to do. So all these leaders should know that these people of Ambassador, these 10 million people, do not depend on them to get independence they depend on us to give them in, to give independence to that country that is the fact that is the fact so if the leaders if, if listen let me tell you something only a wicked person will see that up to today how many days after the washington conference the the leaders have brought us back to a situation worse than before because there is no unitary account they are fighting to divide the 40 something thousand dollars 
they are fighting up and down and the people are there they are killing more people and elections might probably hold and so the only way for us to do is to change the game by telling them that enough is enough enough is enough bring your county your county representatives and all these leaders will stay quiet i'm going to end here and i want to remind the leaders that after elections if they don't implement this i'm going to take over i'm going to take over i will take over as the commander-in-chief of amazonia after this after let, no that is not a joke and i'll give the people power i will create my own association after this and my association i'll put money there i will not touch money that's the difference that i'm going to do so if they think that's a joke let them wait and see after elections after election if election because it seems that I'm going to liberate Ambazonia with you people, with the poor of Ambazonia, not with these leaders. Because the leaders have decided, have decided to kill the people. And we will not allow it. Some of us will not allow it. So, after after elections, I'm just staying quiet. I will take over and policy changes. And I will give my... Listen, let me tell you something. People, the counties, you will bring your, your, your governors. If not, I'm telling you people, any leader who is watching should listen. That this is not a threat. It's something I'm going to do. It's something I'm going to do. And when I want to take over, I'm going to call all the governors of the 13, 13 counties. I start their bank accounts. It's my money. It's my money. I can decide to put 13,000 to start this year. 1,000 per account. 13,000 is no money. It's no money. People don't know. 13,000 is not up to, it's not up to, it's not up to 6 million. So we put it there. 1,000. One, that you have one time from every title. One time you put, bring your governors, start contributing your accounts. That's what we are going to do. And one that is done, one that is done, all these that will become redundant. So that you bring your counties, what will have meetings, governors come and represent. So because they are staying quiet, they're just doing this thing, oh and oh, we will no longer take it. You know, because first and foremost, I have the biggest defense group on the ground. The biggest in Manu, Aquaya, in my area. I have the biggest. I stay quiet. They do actually I just stay quiet. I just stay quiet, I don't talk. So if they want us to show, because some people think that this thing is a show of uh, defense group program and make noise. That is it. When I see, um, I want to tell you something. Hmm? If I make an announcement, for example, if I announce tomorrow that um, it's like that, I will shut down with the coom. You hear that they have shot guns in with the coom. Because I will tell my boys to go and shoot guns there. And they'll go and shoot it. And they'll go and do it. If I tell I want to shut down Boya, I'll do it tomorrow. Because somebody will go and do the thing. So I don't want people to be thinking that because people appear every day. First of all, God has blessed me with all of you Ambazonians who are following me. And sometimes you have to be like this. Tell these leaders to their faces. I'm not afraid. See, I'm not afraid of none of the leaders. I respect all of them. But you see, if Akwanga can stay in South Africa and call that they should divide money and send his own money, if we do, how how do you do that? Akwanga, you are not in a conference. You never came to Washington. You are never at the fundraiser. But you are interested in the money that they raised for the fundraiser. Listen, I I don't I don't look I don't have nobody. Nobody is my friend here. So if you were, if I were talking about Akwanga, the Ayaba, they say it's because Ayaba. No, this is, this is what Akwanga did. It's a Akwanga call. It's a bad thing. It's a bad sign. And we have to condemn it. So people who don't know, tell all of those leaders. I know some of them will listen to me. And they will still listen because their groupers, their groupers, when their groupers are going to tell them that I have said that. Let me tell them very clearly that they will have to first and foremost give us explanations of what they have done with the other money that we raised in Washington before we continue from there. Once we continue from there, then we'll pick up. So, let me say the truth. Just good question. Who are they? These leaders, what do they think? So, they should understand that the people have decided. And a time will come, like I have said, after elections, I'm just announcing it. Me, I'm just behind, staying quiet. A time, listen, I'll start putting out videos. you see a group of two, three hundred soldiers paying allegiance to me. Because I, I, I alone, I can take my down. I've been doing things quietly. Ashu Kingsley will tell you people. So we don't say it because they are killing our people and people think that we should stay quiet. No. If the whole of Nyena bad service everywhere, I have boys there that enter a call that go, they will go and do it. And I listen, I, I have my principle. Everybody who, any soldier on the ground who represents a dictator is a disciplined person. That is why you call me, oh, they have arrested this. As a touch base, it involves me, they are arresting them immediately. Immediately. And people, I've never come on social media and asked somebody to give me one dollar. To go and give a fighter no because and i've never never asked a fighter to take one dollar from somebody that they arrest those are things that i've condemned vehemently but uh, with the help of god and the little that i have i make sure that i sustain them because they are honest people they are but they don't see those fighters don't need anything they just need just a little bit of support yet they don't have it 
the people they are only there looking for money to eat looking for money to steal and these leaders listen let me tell you something today let them mark it it's sunday second of september if election should hold in Ambazonia, i'm just quiet i'm going to take over i'm going to take i'm going to take over i'm going to take over and all the counties i'm taking over and giving power to the counties all the counties will bring their governors and you bring your governors you bring governors you bring chief military strategies you bring us a finance clerk an accountant or a treasurer you bring us a procurement officer you bring all these people then you bring them as a body they will organize for them to meet we start raising funds today we can say everybody why those who are contributing for Ngokitunja, you are contributing for Ngokitunja, but every Ambazonia, 10 million people, put $1 in Ngokitunja account. The account is there, and I'm going to endorse those accounts. You put $1. Everybody, this week is from Ngokitunja. Ngokitunja, one $1. We'll have 10 million in that account. The next week, we go to Lebialem. The next week, we go to Meme. We go to Fako. By the time you realize it, we have hundreds of millions of dollars. And then, we say, I told these people that don't allow anybody to go and buy a weapon. The people who must buy something, anything, they must be they must be visa. Those things must be visa by their governors. They they, they must be they must be a procurement officer and a procurement supervisor. When you go and procure stuff, you bring them, they evaluate them, they make sure that that thing is according to that money. As soon as they see that you have eaten money, you'll be asked to resign or you are sacked by your governor immediately. If the governor too is messing up, the people will ask the governor to resign. So that way, you see that people, listen, listen, that is the only way we are going to survive. Because this war, they have killed 7,000 people. They have touched at least four to 400, 300 to 400 houses. And it's not going to end today. So what are we doing? To ensure that if this war should last for 30 years before we get independence, God forbid, though, we should keep on fighting this war and not lose all these 7,000 people, 10,000 people, uh, 500 houses, and we still don't have independence. That's the question that you should ask yourselves. But the people don't ask these questions. They're only thinking about this money has entered tomorrow. We want to go and do this. People use money to do their private things. So we have to be very technical. To win this fight, it is a war of independence. How many years did America fight? America started with 13 colonies. Today they have 50 states. Today America is the greatest country. Oh my goodness. You need to see the way when I drive around Washington DC, when I drive around Delaware, Virginia and, and Maryland. Beautiful states. Wonderful place, well constructed. There are roads everywhere. America is no greater than Ambazonia in terms of resources. So we can already make our people to understand these facts. So until, until we get to these goodless realities, all these leaders, I've told them that do not suggest to us that we want to take money and then it goes to this place and start giving the poor back. No. Give the counties their powers. Their full powers, the full responsibility for them to govern themselves. There should be a portion that should go to the central government or federal government, whatever name you want to call it. But the people should have the power to command their defense. That way, see, you take in the whole county, everybody must recognize itself as fighting in Momo. If you are a momo, recognize yourself as a fighter in momo. You'll be registered and you'll be you you you'll be you'll be you'll be double checked, cross checked, and then you'll be given a badge number based on the fact that you have passed your betting. They have to vet you, you have to pass clearance. We are sure we know you, we know your parents, we know your children, we know your family, we know your wife, we know your girlfriend. So that if you betray us tomorrow, we'll just go and deal with those people. We'll go and deal with those people. But now people fight anyhow. Anyhow, Atanga Nipo, that's why you're complaining about Atanga Nipo. Else, how would a, a strange soldier dress or disguise as an Ambazonia and come to Gokutunja and do not know him? What is your badge number? What is your badge number? So, I want to tell you people that I've already said it today, 2nd September, after, after elections. If elections hold in Ambazonia, I'm going to take over power from all the leaders. All, I'll be in charge. I'll be, I'll, every title will be in charge. I'll take, I'll be, listen, I'm saying it to every leader who is watching me. I'll be in charge and that's when you see my, my, my strength and my might. You see how much the progress will go. I'll do things that nobody will expect. So I'm just staying quiet because sometimes it's good to stay quiet. But after elections, I'm going to take charge. So that is the ruthless, those are the ruthless realities I'm telling these leaders now. God bless you once more. Have a happy Sunday and do not forget, to keep praying for Ambazonia because our country is free and it's free indeed, but we must work as a team to speed it up. For those of you who don't have news, 
I no longer publish news on Eric Tato. You can keep following us on this page to get more of our live videos. But if you want news, go to National Telegraph, our official page, and you have everything there. Before I go, I want to congratulate you, State Budget, the fake profile for watching this show. As you have seen nothing about good about this show because Eric Tato is speaking. God will still bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday. Um, well, somebody says that it's a, dict I'm a, uh, it's a dictator, but yes, it can be, yes, I accept that one. It's the right way to do. If you listen to what I've said, a dictator is somebody who takes power and keeps the power. I'm saying that I'm taking over and giving power to the people. That's what I've said. So you have to, you may have to go back and re re listen to what I said. So thank you once more. God bless you and have a happy Sunday. Bye-bye.